about the last century, 1909. Uh, George Cabra had a great vision. Went to Denmark, got some ideas about the way they worked the education over there. Brought it back here, opened up or founded Fircraft College, and started up with full time students. Not many, um, from his workplace, men only in those days, uh, to educate them. Uh, not for education as in qualification, but to go back to his workforce. And Like I say, when it started, it was white men only, and through the years, it's ethnic, it's everybody and anybody so from overseas. overseas. And, overseas. Yeah. and even women have been allowed in now, equal opportunities yeah. has reached. Which was not yet before when they started, yeah. Yeah. which is good. And also, uh, disabled um, equality uh, causes for those set up, so it covers a wide range. I was referred to at the start as the Poor Man's University because they were working class. But over the years they've taken students from overseas and it seems more people have come with a view to get the uni qualification to go into university and higher education. Yeah. Faircross is known across Europe because of the students that have come to Faircross and made a difference to Europe and further afield as well. As far as Africa and oh, Southern yeah. Africa, yeah. Also, um, Active citizenship, I've learned that, you know, no matter what ethnic group you come from or race, whatever, you can all pull together and work as a team and work together. I love the aspirations of um, George Cadbury when he started off with Tom Byron. Um, he wanted to improve people's lives. Um, he wanted to take them out their normal setting job, um, improve their minds, I believe, open their minds. But then the intention was to send, send them back to their jobs. That's one of the good things about Fairfax, there's different methods of teaching, so it's not just a traditional sitting in a classroom with a blackboard or whiteboard style. Everyone can get involved yeah. depending on your learning style. Mm -hmm. I like the That's diversity of the people. Because mm -hmm. you could be in Tesco's and see, like, I could see you and I wouldn't even, mm -hmm. you know, even yeah. say hi or anything, I don't know you, but then sitting in the classroom and then you meet so many different people from so many different backgrounds. I love it. I like the it. The thing about Faircroft as well is the size of it. You know, it's small, it's compact, which means it's more of a family sort of environment rather than a factory sort of environment. Yeah, so. rather than like you're here to study and you do it your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's why the teachers got more time for you. You know, they, they can it's more personal, sit down and talk isn't it? To you if you've got a problem, you can't get through something, they're there for you. I like the way the tutors, like, um, if you're not understanding the way they've put it, that they'll change it or they'll show you a way to change it so you can learn easier. So fit in, yeah. 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 And they do encourage very much student participation. There's no them and us for craft. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can't even uh, differentiate the students from, uh, from the tutors. So it's so like all the changes over the years, when the student rebellion that closed closed the college. Yeah, a lot of good came from that because it's made it more like the way it is today. I really I like the, the atmosphere. I like the environment. Um, I like the fact that it's informal. It's relaxed. Um, I don't feel like I come here when the tutors are talking at me. I feel as though the tutors encourage all the students to take part and participate, um, meeting everyone's different learning styles. I just, it's a nice place to come and, and get away as well, you know, just to have time out while you're learning in such a nice environment. Good for team building skills, creative skills, getting the camera out.
Yeah. Which uh, was thrown upon us at short notice. Yeah. Which brings like a, a teamwork aspect to it. Yeah. The team. <laughs> and as Simon said, it's exploring new ways of the camera recording as opposed to always writing. Mm. And just working with people that you might not usually get the opportunity to work so with. Bring out ideas and uh, sharing everything, you know. And as we say, we've all got diversity and a range of skills. Some people are better at writing, some are better at learning by visual. And we've all got different reasons for being here. Exactly, yeah. Which is... Like me, which I'm up applied for access course. So I'm doing the short courses. To get you prepared. Yeah, exactly. Or talking to other people or meeting in a group as we, as we have here, then it becomes apparent, not of all people's disabilities, but just some of them. And I think you start to appreciate people a bit more then. I know in the past myself I've probably been a bit short and abrupt with people, mainly to do with some of the jobs I've had, but just in the short time I've been here, I think I can understand people you know, a lot more than I did that, previously. No matter how small or large, everyone's got something to contribute. You can look on the big scale and look at what George Cadbury did and the fact that he put so much into the lives of those who were probably more disadvantaged. That was a big part of city, like being active in citizenship. But I think you can do smaller things that contribute, for example, the filming that we've all done today. That's going to go on to... Yeah, what's mine's yours. I'm enjoying the sun. Share the share. You've got a roll up on you. <laughs> there are shops up the road. <laughs> I'll definitely be back. <laughs>